No other name given among men whereby we must be saved. No other name that does save. Every knee will bow someday and every tongue will... Bienvenidos a una nueva actualización sobre el ministerio del pastor John MacArthur, quien les habla Claudio desde Argentina. Aunque el pastor MacArthur no estuvo este domingo que ha pasado, que fue el último domingo del mes de junio 2022, el pastor Tom Patton compartió esta vez la lectura bíblica junto con la iglesia en el Salmo 91. Well, we come to the time in our worship service where we have the reading of God's Word. So if you would, stand with me and open your Bibles to Psalm 91. Tom Patton, que da el anuncio, dijo que este mes de junio que se termina fue un mes de gran bendición. Y también vamos a ver cómo Tom Patton presenta al pastor Harry Walls, que fue el pastor que predicó este domingo. Well, welcome to our last Lord's Day of June, a month that literally just flew by here at Grace Church with all the events and ministry that we had planned. Uh, it was an incredible month here at Grace Church. A little bit more on that in just a moment. This morning, we are blessed to have Harry Walls, campus pastor from the Masters University, co-pastor of Cornerstone Fellowship Group to be with us in the pulpit to preach. I've heard the message, it was very God honoring and uh, you will be very blessed to hear it. Antes de comenzar su introducción para comenzar a predicar, el pastor Harry Walls decía algunas palabras y me gustó cuando dijo, refiriéndose a nuestro Señor Jesucristo, que no hay otro nombre dado a los hombres por el cual podamos alcanzar la salvación. The centerpiece of Christianity is the adoration of the one who is worthy. No other name given among men whereby we must be saved. No other name that does save. Every knee will bow someday and every tongue will give confession that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Can you say amen to that? Take your Bible and join me in Mark's Gospel, chapter 6 where I hope to encourage you in the identity and the capacity of Jesus Christ the Lord. Y el pastor Harry Walls predicó en el libro El Evangelio de Marcos, capítulo 6, versos 45 al 52. Su sermón se tituló como Manteniéndose fiel en la tormenta. So my sermon today is meant to strengthen you for the storm. As storm clouds loom, and perhaps you're in one, that God would have us remain faithful, steadfast. And I want to strengthen you with some convictions, life convictions, core convictions, lessons about our Lord who was just sung about that when you anchor in those truths, in tough times, they will sustain you. They will strengthen you. They will help you be faithful when it's dark, when it's hard. When you're rowing for all you're worth, doing what you've been commissioned to do, and it feels like you're going nowhere, where you feel tormented, hopeless, helpless, You need to be strengthened in these convictions. So this message is to provide the concerned and the confused, the weary in the way, disciples, ministry, servants, life, guidance, and comfort. Vamos a ver cuál es el propósito de este evento que vemos aquí en Marcos capítulo 6 sobre Jesús caminando sobre el mar. Cuál es el propósito y el objetivo de este evento. Veamos qué dice el pastor Harry Walls. 
is a purposeful event to undeniably and clearly confirm something the disciples had not been convinced of. Jesus Christ is God. He's not just a man. He's not just a good teacher. He's not just a prophesied one. He is Pleroma, God in the flesh, the fullness of God dwelling in him in bodily form. The main goal of this passage is Jesus not relieving them in their difficulty, but revealing himself to them in their difficulty. I am God and I rescue. I am God and I can do anything, no matter hard, how hard, how difficult, or supernatural it may appear. Luego de que el pastor Harry Walls probara con muchos textos bíblicos dentro de los evangelios de que Jesús es Dios, vuelve a enfatizar cuál es el propósito, el punto de este evento que vemos aquí en Marcos capítulo 6, versos 45 al 52. Veamos qué dice el pastor Harry para finalizar este video. This event is focused on a non-negotiable life lesson for every faithful disciple of Jesus Christ because this passage is rooted in the reality that they need to learn something that will carry them not only through this night but all of the dark nights to come and that is Jesus is God he does what God can do and he rescues because he sees, he cares, he comes, and he comforts.